Dawson died with reason and virginal pride. God became incarnate of you, our God who exists from before all ages has become a babe. He has made your womb become a throne and the recess of your body more spacious than the heavens. All of creation rejoices in you who are full of grace, glory to Blessed are you, Lord, teach me your statutes. The company of angels was amazing. You numbered among the dead, O Savior, who destroyed the power of death and raised up Adam with yourself, setting all free from hell. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. By mingled spices, with tears of pity, O women disciples, cried the resplendent angel from within the tomb to the murmuring women. Behold the tomb and understand, for the Savior has risen from the grave. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. The murmuring women hastened early in the morning to your tomb. Lamenting. But the angel arose before them and said, The time for lamentation has ceased. Weep not, but tell the apostles of the resurrection. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. The murmuring women came to your tomb, O Savior. But they heard an angel say to them, why count the living one among the dead? For as God, he is risen from the tomb. Ex apatrike eoike ae opnemati proskinomen pater aeketon tutu ionde keto ae opnemati Dina ye antria da en mi ati usia sin di serafim grazon de so haios 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 ikiria. Now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. O virgin, you give him birth to the giver of life. You have delivered Adam from sin and to Sorrow. Oh, he who took flesh from you, who both God and man, has raised up those who have fallen from life. and keep us, O oh God, in your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, oh, our Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves one another, whole life to Christ our God. To you, Lord. For blessed is your name, and glorified is your kingdom of the Father, and the Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and the ages of ages. The myrrh bearers came to the tomb of the life giver, seeking the Lord among the dead. From the angel they received glad tidings of joy, proclaiming to the apostles that Christ our God is risen, granting the world great mercy. Mm -hmm. 
Yalpani. From the days of my youth, the enemy has beguiled me with temptations of pleasure. But I trust in him, the Lord, I put him to shame. Let those who say Zion truly be as grass before it is uprooted, mm-hmm. before the for the Lord shall be had them in torment. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and always, and forever, and ever. Amen. Life is in the Holy Spirit, for all he is light of light, our great God. Let us praise him with the Father and the Lord. Let my heart encompassed by a fear be humbled. O most compassionate one, lest it rise and fall from you. He who trusts in the Lord shall not be afraid when they shall judge and punish all. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now and always and forever and ever. Amen. Every godly person sees, foretells, and works supreme wonders by the Holy Spirit. He sings to one God in three persons, though manifested as three, the Godhead reigns as one. I have called to you, O Lord, incline your ear to my voice, and cleanse me before you take me from all that is here. Oh, shall I again return to Mother Earth and once be dissolved Mm -hmm. to receive prize of punishment in accordance with our lives? Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now and always and forever and ever. Amen. One speaks of the God heard by the Holy Spirit, the one throughout the thrice holy, for the Father is without beginning, from whom spring the Son timelessly, and the Spirit shares the same form, throne in splendor from the Father. Behold how good and beautiful it is for brethren to dwell together, for in this the Lord has promised eternal life. The one who adorns the lilies of the fields commands that no one be concerned about clothing. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now and always and forever and ever. Amen. Contained within the Holy Spirit is the cause of all imperfect peace. For he is God of one essence with the Father and the Son. The Lord shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, from generation to generation. When you rose from the tomb, you resurrected Adam and raised the dead. Eve rejoices in your resurrection. The ends of the earth, O merciful one, celebrate your resurrection from the dead. Celebrate your resurrection from the dead. Lord of forbearance, you vanquished the kingdom of Hades and resurrected the dead. You met the myrrh-bearing women and brought them joy in lieu of sorrow. You gave the apostles symbols of victory. My loving Savior and giver of life, you enlightened all creation. For this reason, O merciful one, the world shares in the joy of your resurrection from the dead. The world shares in the joy of your resurrection from the dead. On this, the 26th day of the month, we commemorate our venerable father, Alipios the Canaanite. On this day, the memory of our venerable father, Nikon of Repent. On this day, the memory of our venerable father, Stylianos of Paphlagon. 
On this day, the memory of our venerable father, Akikios of Klimaki. On this day, the memory of our venerable father, Yakovos the Anachorite. On this day, the memory of our venerable father, Silo, Bishop of Persida. Through their holy intercessions, O God, have mercy on us and save us, O man. Christ is born, glorify him. Christ is from heaven, go and meet him. Christ is on earth, be exalted. Oh, all the earth sing unto the Lord, and in gladness, O ye people, sing praises unto him, for he is glorified. To the Son, begotten of the Father, with a change before all ages, and in the last times was without seed, made flesh of the virgin, to Christ our God. Let us cry aloud, you have raised up our horn, holy are you, O Lord. Rod of the root of Jesse, and flower that blossoms from his stem, O Christ, you have sprung from the virgin, from the mountain overshadowed by the forest, O pure, O praised one. You came, made flesh of her who knew not where Lord, a God who are not far from matter. Glory to your power, O Lord, as you were God of peace and Father of mercies. You have sent to us your angel of great counsel, granting us peace. Therefore we are guided to the light of the knowledge of God. And watching by night we glorify you, O lover of mankind. The sea monsters fed for Jonah as it had received him. The children who were brought up together in godliness, scorning the impious decree, feared not the threat of fire, but standing in the midst of the flames, they say, O God of our fathers, blessed are you. We praise, we bless, and we worship the Lord. The burnished voice with you was the image, mm. and the figure of a supernatural wonder. For it burnt not the children whom it had received, even as the fire of the God had consumed not the virgin's womb into which it had descended. Therefore, in praise let us sing, let the whole creation bless the Lord and exalt him above all forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For you are holy, our God, who rests among the saints. And to you we offer glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Everything that breathes. That we may be found worthy to hear the Holy Gospel, let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. At that time, Jesus rose early on the first day of the week. He appeared first to Mary Magdalene, from whom he had cast seven demons. She went and told those who had been with him as they mourned and wept. But when they heard that he was alive and had been seen by her, they would not believe it. After this, he appeared in another form to two of them as they were walking into the country, and they went back and told the rest, but they did not believe them. Afterward, he appeared to the eleven themselves as they sat at the table, and he upbraided them for their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they had not believed those who saw him after he had risen. And he said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to the whole creation. He who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe will be condemned. And these signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will cast out demons. They will speak new in new tongues. They will pick up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will not hurt them. They will lay their hands on the sick and they will recover. So then the Lord Jesus, after he had spoken to them, was taken up into heaven and sat down at the right hand of God. And they went forth and preached everywhere while the Lord worked with them and confirm the message by the signs that attended it. Amen. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Having beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. We venerate your cross, O Christ, and your holy resurrection we praise and glorify. For you are our God, we know no other. It is your name we invoke. Come, all you faithful, let us worship Christ's holy resurrection. For behold, through the cross, joy has come to all the world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us praise his resurrection. For in enduring the cross for us, he destroyed death by death. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the multitude of your compassion, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my iniquity, and my sin is ever before me. Against you only have I sinned, and done evil in your sight, that you may be found just when you speak, and victorious when you are judged. <laughs> You have made known to me the secret and hidden things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. You shall wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness, that the afflicted bones may rejoice. Turn your face away from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and establish me with your governing spirit. I shall teach transgressors your ways, and the ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation. My tongue shall joyfully declare your righteousness. 
και το στόμα μου να αγγελεί την ανασύν σου. For if you have desired sacrifice, I would have given it. You did not delight in overt offerings. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit. God will not despise a broken and a humbled heart. To God in your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you shall be pleased with sacrifice of righteousness, mm. with oblation and hope and offering. Then they shall offer bulls on your altar. And have mercy on me, O Lord God. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, through the intercession of the apostles, O merciful one, remit the multitude of our sins. Now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen, through the intercessions of the Theotokos, O merciful one, remit the multitude of our sins. Κατά το μεγαλαιό σου και κατά το πλήθο των εκτιμών σου, εξαλείψαν το νόμιμο μου. Αναστά, ο Ισού από του τάφου, καθώ προείπαν, εδώ και αν Την αιώνιον ζωήν και μεγαλαιό Son, Kiria, Layson, Kiria, Layson. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Dwam the me who yeshed, Dwam the me who yeshed, Dwam the me who yeshed. Gospody for me, Loy, Gospody for me, Loy, Gospody for me, and Mother of Light, let us honor and magnify in song. Mm-hmm. 
my soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. Because he who is mighty has done me great things, and holy is his name, and his mercy is from generation to generation to those who fear him. More honored than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. In purity you gave birth to God the Logos. Truly you are the mother of God, you do we magnify. So might in his army has scattered the proud in the mind of his heart. Intimiotter on the cherubim, Kelloxotter on a syncretos to seraphim, Tina the Aptoros del Lord on the Cusson, Tiondo Seotokon, Sir Megalino. He has aided Israel, his servant, being mindful of his mercy, as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his seed forever. More honored than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. In purity you gave birth to God the Logos. Truly you are the mother of God, you do we magnify. O oh, magnify, O oh, my soul, for who is more honorable and more glorious than the heavenly host, a strange and most wonderful mystery do I see. The cave is heaven. The virgin, the throne of the cherubim, the manger, a room in which Christ the God, whom nothing can contain, is laid. Him do we praise and Him do we glorify. In peace, let us again pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and of our Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you. Exalt the Lord our God, 
and worship at his footstool. Holy is he. Let no one doubt that the Christ is risen. He did appear to Mary, and later to those walking in the field. He did appear to the eleven disciples as they did recline, whom he sent forth to baptize. He did ascend to heaven from where he had descended. He gave validity to what was preached by a multitude of signs. Rising sun, you have come forth from the tomb today as from a bridal chamber. <coughs> you vanquish Hades and destroy death. Send us light, light to enlighten our hearts and minds. Light that we may all walk your commandments and in the paths of peace. This is we ask through you the intercessions of her who gave birth unto you. Execute on them the written judgment. This is glory for all is faithful. Lord, though you stood trial, judged by Pilate, you were never absent from the throne upon which you sit with the Father. O oh, compassion and a loving God, you rose from the dead and freed all the world from the bondage of the enemy. Praise the Lord in his holy places, praise him in the firmament of his strength. Mm -hmm. Though you were placed in a tomb as dead, the guards kept watch over you as a slumbering king. Mm -hmm. Though you were secured with the seal mm -hmm. like a treasure, mm -hmm. you rose from the dead and granted our souls in corruption. Praise him for his mighty deeds, praise him for the fullness of his, his majesty. majesty. Lord, you gave us your cross as a weapon against the devil. He quakes and he trembles, unable to bear the might of his power. Because it raises the dead, it annihilated death. Wherefore we worship your burial and your resurrection. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet, praise him with the harp and the lyre. Your angel did proclaim your resurrection, frighten the guards, but call to the women, saying, why do you seek him among the dead, the one who lives? 
He is God and is risen, granting life to the universe. Praise Him with cymbal and dance, praise Him with strings and pipe. You who in your divinity are above suffering, suffered on the cross. You accepted burial for three days to set us free from the bondage of the enemy making us immortal and giving us your your resurrection O loving Christ our God praise him with resounding symbols praise him with symbols of triumph let let, let everything that breathes praise the Lord I worship glorify and praise your holy resurrection from the grave O Christ by your resurrection you have freed us from the unbreakable bonds of Hades. You are God and have granted the world great mercy and life eternal. Arise, O Lord, my God, lift your mighty hand and forget not your poor. The transgressor guarded the life, giving to men sealed it with the carol. But you, immortal and almighty God, rose on the third day. I shall praise you, O Lord, with my heart. I shall proclaim your mighty deeds. Hades became captive when you came upon its shattered gates. O Lord, it cried out. Who is this who is not condemned to the bowels of the earth, but who has destroyed the prison of death as though it were a tent? I received him as a mortal, and I tremble before him as God Almighty. Savior, have mercy on us. God. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. When the apostles, hearing from every Magdalene, the good news of the Savior's resurrection and appearance, did disbelieve and were reproached for the hardness of heart. Even so, they were sent forth to preach, armed with the manifestation of signs and miracles. And you, O Lord, did ascend to your Father, the source of life. And they did preach the word everywhere, confirming it through miracles. Therefore, we who have been enlightened by them glorify your resurrection from the dead, O Lord, O being Lord. Now and always and forever and ever, amen. You are greatly blessed, O Virgin Theotokos, for Hades has been taken captive by him who was born of you. 
Adam was brought back, the curse was abolished, he was delivered, death was put to death, and we were given life anew. In praise we cry aloud, blessed are you, O Christ our God, who have shown your good pleasure, glory to you. Glory to you, O giver of light. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace. Goodwill among all people. We praise you, we bless you. We worship you, we glorify you. We give thanks to you. For your great glory, O Lord, Heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, only begotten Son, Lord Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin. Of the world have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer, you sit at the Father's right and have mercy on us. For only you are the Holy One, only you are the Lord. Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father, amen. Every day will I bless you, I will praise your name forever, to the ages of ages. Count us worthy, Lord, of passing this day without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our fathers. Your name is praised and glorified forever. Amen. Let your mercy descend upon us, O Lord, for we place our hope in you. Blessed are you, O Lord, Blessed are you, teach me your commandments. Evlo ye to si kiria, di doxon me, ta di keoma ta su. Blessed are you, O Lord, blessed are you, teach me your commandments. You have been our refuge, Lord. From one generation to the next, I cried out, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. I run to you, O Lord, teach me to please you. For you are my God. For in you is the fountain of life, and in your light we see light. Pour forth your mercy on those who know you, holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal. Mercy on us, Aios Otheos, Aios Iskiros, Aios Athanatos, Leisonimas, Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. 
Come to all the world, let us sing to him who rose from the grave, the very source of our life. By his own death, he destroyed death, bestowing on us victory and his great mercy. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, always, now, and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and for those who entered with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For our Archbishop Nathaniel, the Honorable Presbyters, the Deacons and the Servants of Christ, and all the clergy and laity, let us pray to the Lord. For our country, the President, and all those in public service, let us pray to the Lord. For this parish and city, for every city and town, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. For favorable weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth in peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For travelers by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Remembering a most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his rewards. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. 
Lord prepared his throne in heaven and his kingdom rules over all. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, save yourself. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For yours is the dominion, and yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I shall praise the Lord while I live. I shall sing to my God as long as I exist. Save us, O Son of God. Who rose from the dead, save us who sing to you, Alleluia. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob, his hope is in the Lord his God. <laughs> shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, to all generations. Save us, O Son of God, who rose from the dead. Save us, who sing to you, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, into the ages of ages, Amen. Only begotten Son and Word of God, though immortal for our salvation, you deign to be incarnate of the Holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, without change becoming man, and were crucified Christ our God, Trampling death by death, being one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit, said, Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Oh, 
Son of God, who rose from the dead, save us who sing to you. sturdy column of the church of Christ and as pillar of self-control and protector of children and babes. Still he knows for from youth as if bodiless you were practicing ascetical discipline. Holy Father now Beseech Christ our God most fervently, entreating that he grant us his great mercy. Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Holy God, Holy Mighty.
to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Oh, holy, Be attentive. Make your vows to the Lord our God and perform them. God is known in Judah. His name is great in Israel. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians. Let us be attentive. Brethren, I, a prisoner for the Lord, beg you to lead a life worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all lowliness and meekness, with patience, forbearing one another in love, eager to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as you were called to the one hope that belongs to your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of us all, who is above all and through all and in all. But grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. Peace be to you, the reader. Hallelujah. Arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all and with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. At that time a ruler came to Jesus and asked him good teacher what shall I do to inherit eternal life and Jesus said to him why do you call me good no one is good but God alone you know the commandments do not commit adultery do not kill do not steal do not bear false witness Honor your father and mother. And he said, All these things I have observed from my youth. And when Jesus heard it, he said to him, One thing you still lack, sell all that you have and distribute it to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven, and come follow me. But when he heard this, he became sad, for he was very rich. Jesus, looking at him, said, How hard it is for those who have riches to enter the kingdom of God, for it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. Those who heard it said, Then who can be saved? But he said, What is impossible with men? is possible with God. Peace be to you, the herald of the God. 
Please rise. At this point, we proceed with the church in prayers for the newly born Efrosini, along with her parents Fotini and Dimitrios. Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who by your word has made every rational and irrational creature, who brought all things out of nothingness into being. We pray to and implore you, cleanse and heal this your servant, Fotini, whom by your will you have preserved, and who now comes into your holy church from every transgression, so that she may be accounted worthy to partake of your holy mysteries without condemnation. Bless also this newborn child, Ephrosini, who has been born of her. Increase her, sanctify her, give her understanding and a prudent and virtuous mind. For you alone have brought this child into being and have shown her the light which bodily sense perceives, so that she might be accounted worthy also of the ideal life and be numbered with your holy flock through your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed together with your all holy, good, and life creating spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Lord God, who always draws near for the salvation of all people, come also to these your servants, Fotini and Demetrios. And through the prayers of your venerable priesthood, accept them, account them worthy to find refuge in your holy Catholic and apostolic church, to obtain entrance into the temple of your glory, and worthy also to partake in the precious body and blood of your Christ. In the fulfillment of the 40 days, wash away from them every transgression, voluntary and involuntary, so that accounted worthy to enter your holy temple, that may glorify with us your all-holy name, the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord our God, who on the 40th day was brought as a child into the, into the temple of the law by Mary, the virgin bride and your holy mother, and was carried in the arms of the righteous Simeon. Do you also, sovereign master, all-powerful, bless this child presented here, that she may appear before you, the creator of all things, and increase in her every good work acceptable to you, removing from her every opposing might by the sign of the likeness of your cross. For you are he who guards infants, O Lord, so that accounted worthy of holy baptism, she may obtain the portion of your elect of the kingdom 
being protected with us by the grace of the holy, consubstantial, and undivided Trinity. For unto you we offer glory, honor, and worship with your eternal Father and your all-holy, good, and life-creating Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. God, the Father Almighty, who by the loud voice of the prophet Isaiah has foretold to us the incarnation from a virgin of your only begotten Son and our God, who in the latter days, by your good pleasure and by the cooperation of the Holy Spirit, have willed through measureless love to become a child of her for the salvation of all people, and according to the custom of her holy law, after the fulfillment of the days of purification, submitted to be brought into the sanctuary, being himself a true lawgiver, and will to be carried in the arms of the righteous Simeon, of which mystery we have a prototype declared in the prophet Isaiah by the taking of coals with tongs from the altar, and of which we, the faithful, also have an imitation in grace. You who are he who watches over babes, yourself, O oh Lord, bless this child together with the parents and account them worthy, her worthy at the fitting time to be born again of water and the Spirit. Number her with your holy flock of rational sheep who are called by the name of your Christ. You are he who dwells on high and gives regard to the things which are lowly. And to you we offer up glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All the way to the altar. The servant of God, the Frosini is brought into the temple of God in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I shall enter into your holy house and worship one divinity, worshiped in three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The servant of God, Ephrosini, is brought into the temple of God in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I will enter your house amidst the assemblies. The servant of God, Ephrosini, is brought into the temple of God in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word, for mine eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all peoples a light to enlighten the Gentiles in the glory of your people, Israel. That ever guarded by your might, we may ascribe glory to you, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages.
Oh. 
Complete our prayer to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts here presented, let us pray Lord, to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for those who entered with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us Lord, pray to the Lord. have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. For a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. This, o Lord. For forgiveness and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. This, o Lord. For all that is good and beneficial to our soul and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. This, o Lord. For the completion of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For a creation and to our life, peace, for without shame and suffering, and for a good copy for the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Grant this, o Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, Lord. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed. Together with the all holy, good, and life praying spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In any party, peace be to all. And with your spirit. Let us love one another that with one mind we may confess Father, Son, and Holy Spirit Trinity one in ourselves and in
Guard the doors, wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, who suffered and was buried. On the third day he rose according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I expect the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand well, let us stand in fear, let us be attentive that we may present the holy offering in peace. Mercy and peace, a sacrifice of praise. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and Father and the communion Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit let us lift up our hearts we lift them up to unto the Lord. It is proper and right. We are singing the truck. So we do it, but the deacon does it, so you can do the petition. Singing the triumphal hymn. Exclaiming, proclaiming, and saying, Holy, 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 Lord of Sabaoth,
the spiritual works for the shedding of blood. And we beseech and pray and entreat you, send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon the gifts here presented. Bless Mass of the Holy Bread. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. Bless Mass of the Holy Cup. And that which is in this cup, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Bless Mass of the Holy Gifts. Changing them by the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Especially for our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. Amen. It is truly me to bless thee, O Theotokos, ever blessed and most pure, and the mother of our God. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who without stain did give birth to God the word, truth and Grant him to your holy churches in peace, safety, honor, health unto length of days, rightly teaching the word of your truth. Remember also, Lord, those whom each of us calls to mind, and all your people, and all your Grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. And the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with you. Spirit. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts here presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our God, who loves mankind, having accepted them at his holy and celestial and mystical altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may in return send down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Having asked for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Pater Imon, O in this Udanis, I ask thee to the Namasu, El Tati Vasiliasu, Yenithita to the Limasu, Os Meronon Capitizis, Tarartan Imon to Abusion, Dosim in Simenon, Kathas Minta Filimeta Imon, Os Camis Afimeta Sletus Simon, Camis Neis Mas Spiras Mon, Alarisim Mas Apotolidu. For thine is the king, the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and the ages of ages. Amen. Irini Pasi, peace be to all. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. Compassion and love for mankind, the only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life creating Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us be attentive. The holy gifts are for the holy people of God. One is holy, one is Lord, Jesus Christ. Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body, and that this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me, and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, in known and unknown, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal. Amen. Behold, I approach for divine communion, O maker, burn me not as I partake. For you are fire consuming the unworthy, but cleanse me from every stain. Receive me today, O Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. For I will not betray your mysteries to your enemies, nor give you a kiss as to Judas. But as the thief, I confess you, Remember me, O Lord, in your kingdom. Tremble, O man, as you behold the divine blood. It is a burning coal that sears the unworthy. The body of God both deifies and nourishes me. It deifies the spirit and wondrously nourishes the mind. You have smitten me with yearning, O Christ, and by your divine arrows you have changed me. But burn up my sins with spiritual fire and grant me to be filled with your view so that leaping for joy I may magnify, O good one, your two trumpets. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my clothing will accuse me, since it is not a wedding garment, and being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation, because of my unworthiness, but for the cleansing and sanctification of soul and body, and the pledge of the future life and kingdom, it is good for me to cling to God and to place in Him the hope of my salvation. Good morning, kids.
It is so nice to see all of you this morning. I'm so happy that you came to church. I'm really happy that you came to church. You can sit down, kids. You can sit down. Yeah, just sit down right there. Perfect. Good, good. So, kids, did you see us, the priests and the deacons? We, after the sermon, we went out to the entrance in the church. Did you see that? You didn't see that? How come? You saw it? You saw it? Oh, you saw it too? You did too. What did I do? Did I just take a break? Was it halftime? No, it was not halftime. We didn't take a break. Actually, we did something really, really special. We went out there to the... To uh, the front door of the church because I met there a new baby girl and her parents and we prayed over her and over her mom and her dad and then I took the baby and I just kind of lifted her up and down in the form of a cross did you see that it, well maybe you should look a little closer were you not paying attention? Yeah. So, well then, kids, pay attention next time we have the churching of a baby. And to see what happens. But don't just pay attention to the priest kind of moving the baby up and down and to the side and then to the other side. Also pay attention. Pay attention to the words that we say. Pay attention to the words that we say. When we did that with the baby, we brought the baby to be part of this church. Yep, everybody, all the people, all the people, you also are now responsible to prepare this baby for baptism. Not just her parents, yeah, little Efrosini is becoming part of our church family. And all of us have to pray for her and to get her ready for baptism. But before she was born, before she was born, where was she? Where was little Efrosini? John? You're right. Before she was born, Efrosini was in her mom's belly. That's right. So if we, all of us, take care of babies after they're born, does somebody take care of babies before they're born? When they are in the belly of mom? Yes. yes. Who takes care? Of them. Yes, so on. The mom takes care. You're right. The mom takes a lot of good care of the baby when the baby is in her belly. Who else takes care of the baby? Yes? God and the daddy. What about Jesus' mommy, the Theotokos, the Virgin Mary? Does she take care of the baby in the, before the baby is born? You're right. And then we also have even some saints. There are some saints up in heaven whose job is to pray for the babies who are in the bellies of their moms. And today we celebrate one of those saints. This saint is a special saint. His name is Stilianos. Can you say Stilianos? Everybody say together. Saint Stilianos. Very good. Yes. Oh, wait a minute. Do we have somebody with the name Stilianos? That's right. It is his name day today. And Saint Stilianos is extremely special to all the people in our church. 
especially the moms, because he protects both the babies and the moms while the babies are growing inside the belly of the moms. Right? Very good. Happy name day to you. God bless you with many years. And to everybody else who carries the name of Stilianos. And there's girls by that name too, Stiliani. Yes, do you know somebody by that name? Oh, your name day was yesterday. What saint was yesterday? Oh, Catherine. Ekaterini, that's right. And happy name day to all those who are Catherine as well. Wonderful. Well, may Saint Stilianos and Saint Catherine pray for all of you and for all the babies in the world. Amen. God bless you kids. Now, please listen to the, to the ushers where to go to prepare for communion, okay? God bless you. Yeah. 
give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Alleluia. For his mercy endureth for us. I called upon the Lord. He heard me and brought me to a large place. Alleluia. For his mercy endureth forever and ever. is my helper, I will not fear. What man can do unto me? Alleluia. For his mercy endureth forever and Is my helper, I shall look down upon my enemies. Alleluia. For his mercy endureth forever and ever. Better to trust in the Lord than to trust in mankind. Alleluia. For his mercy endureth forever and
We have seen the low light. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith, worshiping the undivided Trinity. The Trinity who has saved us. Ido mento fosto alithino el abomen pnema epuranion. Evromen pristin alithi adi ereton triada proskinuntes. Altidor imas Amen. Let our mouths be filled with your praise, O Lord, that we may sing of your glory. You have made us worthy to partake of your holy mysteries. Keep us in your holiness, that all the day long we may meditate upon your righteousness. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. be attentive, having partaken a divine, holy, pure, mortal, heavenly life, giving an awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by Lord, your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O Lord, those who bless you and bless those who sanctify you and put their trust in you, save your people and bless your inheritance, protect the whole body of your church, sanctify those who love the beauty of your house, glorify them and return by your divine power, and forsake us not who set our hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to our civic leaders, to the armed forces, to all your people. For every good and perfect gift from above coming down from you, the Father of lights. And do we offer up and give glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is the name of the Lord, both now and to the ages. Blessed is the name of the Lord, both now and to the ages. At this point, please remain standing. We'll have the, the memorial prayers for the servants of God, Florence Zubile, William and Catherine Poulos, Peter Poulos, John Poulos, Christula, Anthony, Cleo, and Beth. Among the spirits of the righteous, perfected in faith, give rest, O Savior, to the souls of your servants. Bestow upon them the blessed light, which is from you, O loving Lord. 
Within your peace, O Lord, where all your saints repose, give rest also to the souls of your servants, for you alone are immortal. Glory to the Father and the Son and to the Holy Spirit, you who are our God, who descended into Hades and loosened the pains of those who were held captive. Grant rest also, Savior, to the souls of your servants. Kenin ke ai ke is to se onoston e onon amin. Imoni agni ke agrandos parthenos. I theon afrastos ki isoso. Resveve iper tu sotine. Tas psikas ton dulon su. Have mercy upon us, O God, according to your great love. We pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again we pray for the repose of the souls that are departed servants of God. Florence, William, Catherine, Peter, John, Chrysula, Anthony, Cleo, and Beth, and for the forgiveness of all their sins, both voluntary and involuntary. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Lord God grant that their soul rests where the righteous repose. Let us ask Christ, our mortal King and God, for the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and the forgiveness of their sins. Grant this, O Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O God, of spirits of all flesh, who's trampled down upon death and abolished the power of the devil, giving life to your world, give rest to the souls of your departed servants. Florence, William, Catherine, Peter, John, Chrysula, Anthony, Cleo and Beth, who have departed this life and in a place of light, Amen. in a place of green pasture, Amen. in a place of refreshment, Amen. from where pain, sorrow, and sighing have fled away as a good and loving God, forgive every sin which they have committed in word, deed, or thought, for there is no one who lives and does not sin. You alone are without sin, your righteous, everlasting righteousness, and your word is truth. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your departed servants, O Christ, our God. And to we offer of glory to the eternal Father, who with without beginning your all holy, good, and life giving spirit, now and forever unto the ages of ages. Amen. May your memory be eternal, ever blessed, and ever memorable, brothers and sisters. It shall all be the memory. It shall all be the memory. May the memory be eternal. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Father give the blessing. 
May the blessing of the Lord and his mercy go upon you, but find grace and love for mankind, always, now, and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to our God, our hope, glory to you. May he who rose from the dead, Christ our true God, through the intercession of all pure and all immaculate Holy Mother, of the power of the precious and life-giving cross, of the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, of the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet Brunner John the Baptist, of the holy glorious praise of the apostles, of the holy glorious and trumpet martyrs, of our righteous and governing fathers, of our father among the saints, John Christus, the Archbishop of Constantinople's divine liturgy we celebrate this day, of the holy righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of St. Apollios, the stylite of Andrianopoulos, and of St. Nikon and Stylianos, the monk of Paphlonia, and all whose memory we celebrate today, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for you are a good God who loves mankind. Amen. Felix Epandimas, may the protection of the Holy Trinity be with you always. Blessed is the offering of your servants in your holy church, always now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Thank you for coming to the Divine Liturgy today. It's wonderful to see all of you, especially on the first kind of winter snowfall of the year. Um, it's especially uh, wonderful and um, a joy to have in our midst uh, Father, Father Chris, Father Christodoulos Margelos. Of course, many of you probably still remember him as Chris, as he was born and raised in this parish. Uh, Father Chris is now uh, the head pastor and priest at, uh, at the uh, Assumption Church in Madison, Wisconsin. And it's wonderful to have him at the altar where he was raised. The, um, I have a couple of announcements for you. First, I'd like to say memory eternal for all those, for all those whom we commemorated today. Congratulations and Daxia to the wonderful Efrosini and uh, her parents, Fotini and Dimitrios. May God bless her with many years of good health and joy. And uh, aside, of, aside from that, we also have uh, s special congratulations and, uh, and also a thank you to Lucas Hanna for achieving the Eagle Scout Award. Lucas has uh, participated in the scouting... Uh, come on up, Lucas. And Lucas is dressed somewhat differently today. <laughs> He's got more bling than the priests. <laughs> congratulations, to, congratulations to Lucas. May God bless him for... <laughs> Lucas has done a couple of projects, service projects, as part of his scouting program for our parish in, in the last, uh, well, at, le at least in the last couple of years and probably more. But perhaps most of us know him by his voice coming down oftentimes uh, in, in, the hymns, in the hymns of the church during the services of the church. May God bless you with many happy and joyful years and may you continue to have many such accomplishments. God bless you. Wonderful. The, um, a couple of more announcements. First of all, uh, yesterday when I was here for the Liturgy of St. Catherine, I know it's hard, it was Thanksgiving week, a lot of people were away traveling, or maybe just tired because we eat too much. Uh, but I've noticed that those Toys for Tots uh, boxes are kind of empty. So just a reminder, Work with your children 
to bring to bring uh, uh, toys for gifts. This is a this is a good project in our parish, especially leading up to Christmas. And uh, take also note of the announcements that uh, all of the other announcements in the in the bulletin. But last, uh, lastly, I want to just remind everyone that we have begun our stewardship campaign. And by God's grace and mercy, f last Sunday, when uh, I, um, I was not here, but I did leave my pledge with, uh, with Father Jason, by God's grace and mercy, there were not just the parish council, but also the stewardship committee and perhaps a handful of others who, uh, who have already turned in their pledges. And it's, I, I do not know the exact numbers, but I know, I remember quite clearly, that they were actually greater than we did last year on that first day. And I want to encourage you to remain vigilant and focused and attentive. Honor the work of the Stewardship Committee and honor the messages that you have learned from all of the sermons, not only the clergy, but especially perhaps the lay sermons that we had in preparation for the stewardship campaign for 2024. May God bless all of you with good health. I hope you've had a wonderful and blessed Thanksgiving. And uh, of course, happy name day, Hronyapola, to everybody who carries the name of Catherine. And because we are, you know, Greeks and Romanians and whatnot, there's probably too many Catherines for me to try and list all of you. May God bless you by the intercessions of your patrons and protectors. And uh, we had one Stylianos for his name day. He's probably in his uh, Sunday school class right now. But of course, St. Stylianos is very, very dear to me. I know he's not all that popular a saint, but he's a very dear saint to me because I have seen his work in real life give fruit. I've seen intercessions. Um, his intercessions be alive. So keep Saint, uh, Saint Stylianos at the forefront of your attention as well. Happy name day to all those who carry his name also. Please approach for the Antidoron. Christ is in our midst. He is in our midst. <coughs> Yeah.
Christ is from heaven, go and meet him. Christ is on earth, be exalted. Oh, all the earth, sing unto the Lord. And let us all ye people sing praises unto him, for he is glorified. To the Son, begotten of the Father, without change, before all ages. And in the lifetimes was without sin, made flesh of the virgin. O Christ, our God, let us cry aloud. You have raised up our horn. of the root of Jesse, and flower that blossomed from his stem, O cried, you have sprung from his virgin, from the mountain overshadowed by the forest of praise one. You came, made flesh of her who knew not when luck, O God who are not formed from matter. To your power, O Lord, as you are God of peace and Father of mercies, you have sent to us your angel of great counsel, granting us peace. Therefore, we are guided to the light of the knowledge of God, and watching by night, we glorify you. O lover of mankind, the sea monsters fed for Jonah as it had received him like a bed from the womb, while the word of God, having dwelt in the virgin and taken on flesh, did come forth from her, yet kept her uncorrupt. For himself, not being subject to decay, he preserved. Mother, free from Magnify, O oh my soul, who who is more honorable and more glorious than the heavenly host, a strange and most wonderful mystery do I see. The cave is heaven, the virgin, the throne of the cherubim, the manger a room, in which Christ the God, whom nothing can contain, is laid. Him do we praise, and Him do we glory. Oh.